In this video, we will explain why limit x approaches to 0 mod of x divided by x does not exist. Now coming towards its solution, we will firstly write the definition of the function mod of x. Mod of x is equal to x if x is greater than 0 and mod of x is equal to minus x if x is less than 0 and mod of x is equal to 0 if x is equal to 0. Firstly, we will find the right hand limit of the given function. For this, we will write limit x approaches to 0 from right mod of x divided by x. In right hand limit, x is approaching 0 from the right side. And we know that on the right side of 0, there are all the positive values of x, that is x is greater than 0. It is given in the definition of the function mod of x that when x is greater than 0, then mod of x is equal to x. So here we can write limit x approaches to 0 from the right. We will replace mod of x by x since x is greater than 0 in this case. So it will be x divided by x which is equal to limit x approaches to 0 from the right x divided by x is equal to 1. Since 1 is a constant, so when we will apply limit, it will be equal to 1. Now we will find the left hand limit of the given function. For this, we will write limit x approaches to 0 from the left mod of x divided by x. Since x is approaching 0 from the left side, so it means here all the values of the x are less than 0. It is given in the definition of the function mod of x that when x is less than 0, mod of x is equal to minus x. So here we can replace mod of x by minus x and we will write limit x approaches to 0 from the left replacing mod of x by minus x it will be minus x divided by x it is equal to limit x approaches to 0 from the left minus x divided by x is equal to minus 1 since minus 1 is a constant so when we will apply limit it will be equal to minus 1 and this is the left hand limit of the given function. We have calculated that right hand limit is equal to 1 and left hand limit is equal to minus 1. So we can clearly see that left hand limit is not equal to right hand limit since left hand limit is not equal to right hand limit so we can say that so the limit of the given function does not exist 